Okay guys, so today I'm going to be installing a air bubbler in my Roballo 246. I got some decisions I have to make, so I got to find out really where am I going to install it. But before we kind of get into that, I'm going to kind of tell you what kind of air bubbler I got. There's several out there. I actually went to Academy and picked up these um, power bubblers right here. And also picked up some cable mounts, some 3M cable mounts. And the tools I'm going to be using to install this is a drill. I've um, got a pair of scissors to cut the hose if I need to or the mount. So when I was looking at installing this, I'm thinking about installing it right here, right in here. Um, maybe punch two holes right here. And one thing I just got to make sure that I don't come out on this other side. And you can see in here, well, actually I might not. Yep, it's above this bulkhead here. I want to make sure that it's above this bulkhead here. And then I'm thinking about installing the bubbler and mounting them right here. And then mounting one on this side, probably down here below the uh, water fuel separator right here. But you can actually mount it in many different locations. So you can actually go to um, the PetSmart store and buy more hose. Some people just like to mount them in here and actually it's probably best to mount it inside your console here because then the air bubble will never see any kind of moisture the in the bilge it can get wet so it might shorten the life of the air bubbler but i'm just trying to keep it very simple you could also probably install a switch up here but i don't want to install a switch i just don't want to go through all the effort of putting a switch here i'm not sure how we would look i really like how this is set up and really clean and i already had stuff tied up to my accessory switch and that is my light bar up there so i think i'm just going to keep it real easy and i'm just going to use um the hoses that i got and i'm going to install it right here and this bubbler actually does have a switch on it and you can just press the switch and it is located where's it at there is a switch on here when i was reading about it there's a little power switch it's actually on the bubbler itself I don't see it right now. I have to take it out of its package, but I think that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to keep it easy, install it pretty quickly. I'm hoping that this goes really fast, but we will see. Just got done drilling my first hole. You can see it right here. I don't know if y'all can see that or not right there. I went ahead and drilled my first hole, and I went ahead and also put the cable ties on too. Looks really sharp. You can see it going down a little far away, diff uh, far away shot looking in here you can see where it is all the way up there is where that hose came out now it was a little difficult to stick my hand up here and grab that hose so make sure before you install your bubbler that you can actually get access to where you got to grab that hose at i'm gonna go ahead and drill my second hole and um we'll be able to hook up the aerator also another thing is i'm also gonna have to install an inline switch when i was looking at this i swore it had a switch on here and i do not see a switch at all on here and so what i'm gonna do is take these clips off right here and put an inline switch right here so i can turn it on and off and not have to just disconnect it from the batteries but for today i'm just going to leave these on to see if it works just got done drilling the second hole and i went ahead and mounted the power bubbler too and i'm going to show you guys real quick before i show you the second hole but you can see where i mounted the power bubbler right here against this bulkhead right here i went ahead and installed the tubing uh, made sure the arrows were facing out so air is going from the left to the right across the screen uh, put another cable tie right there and i don't know you can see it goes all the way up there and that's where it enters the live well all right so i went ahead and installed the bubbler just to make sure that i had enough tubing to have um, the full system set up and this is what it looks like inside the live well from the outside here you really can't see it it's hidden pretty well it goes right there is where my two holes are i'm gonna put some sealing in there it runs all the way across and then it drops down right there well 
Now that we got one side installed, I'm gonna install the second side, but before I install the second side, let's see what this thing does. Let's see how it works real quick. Let's put some water in a live well and see how many bubbles it makes. We are filling up the live well. While that's filling up, I'm gonna tell you about this power bubbler. This is the 12 volt air bubbler. It can aerate up to two live wells off of one bubbler system. And you can see it right here, it aerates one or two live wells up to 35 gallons. So on the back of it, it shows that it has a on and off switch. There is no on and off switch on this bubbler guys. It actually just has the prongs to hook up to the battery right here. And so once this live well sealed up, I'm gonna hook it up. I think I am going to install an inline switch so I don't have to keep unhooking and dehooking these up. But it's starting to fill up pretty nicely. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn on these air bubblers and see what they look like. Got the live well all filled up. There it is, guys. It is bubbling away. It works freaking awesome. So if we have the divider in right here, say if we have the divider in right in here, uh, your shrimp and your croaker would both be getting a significant amount of oxygen. It looks really good though, guys. On the water, it's been a couple of days since I installed the air bubbler. I had to wait for some parts to come in from Amazon to install that inline switch. But guys, I want to go ahead and show you how it looks in the water. One thing I found out about it, the 3M... Um, it works really good this 3m cable ties works really good right here All right that's that's on there good you really can't see it but underneath this lip the ones i put up there have started to come off a little bit but i went ahead and installed this one like i showed y'all before right here and i installed the other one right here i uh, got a little loops in on so that but what i got from amazon and the part i had to wait to come in well, there's these little switches right here and it looks like I might have to actually screw them in. I try to use some double-sided tape just to hold it temporarily just to see if I like it here. Let's see here, but now I got a little on switch right here for each one of them. Another on switch right there. And there you go, you can see them. They're bubbling up good. And that's exactly what we wanted. And here's the other one on the other side really bubbling it up good so some of the things that i found out um the 3m things they work really good in the water but on the top of the edge they haven't been working so good some of them are coming off i'm to find something better to hold those that tubing right there uh, the switch right here if you want to get this switch that i got this inline switch so it connects to the battery and not the um battery clips I'll leave a link on my Gulf to Bay website to show you the um, name of the switch. I just can't remember the name of it. I'm not going to use double-sided tape anymore. I'm going to go ahead and screw those in and make them permanent. Now, you can run it, like I said at the beginning of the video, run it to a switch up here. I just didn't feel like doing all that work. And you also can install the bubblers up underneath your console. Uh, it's just a lot more work you have to get more tubing to do it but if you just buy the package like i did from academy or amazon you actually have enough tube in place to install them without having to buy any more tubing oh one thing i forgot to talk about was i did end up going to get um 3m sealant on uh, clear sealant and where i drilled the holes at right here where i drilled the holes at right here where my finger is uh, put 3M sealant in there so no water to get in there. On the Rebalo 246, when you are drilling that, make sure that you can reach over this bulkhead right here to grab these tubes. If you go too far back right here, you won't be able to reach in there to grab those tubes. So on the 246, make sure you can reach in there. Check, uh, check where that tube is going to come out before you... Uh, drill that hole right there and the drill bit size that I used was a 1-4 Drill bit and before you drill it in your boat make sure to do a test drill drill it in a piece of wood See if the hose goes in there uh, Without getting jammed up because you don't you want the boat to go in there uh, smoothly, but not have so much room that a lot of water can get past that tube all right guys, well that's all I have on installing the air bubbler on a boat, on a bay boat or 246, Rabal 246 Cayman. 
and I'll see you on the water.